My name is Eric Wilberg, director of the Taylor Planetarium at the Museum of the Rockies, and I was going to model the solar system on a centimeter scale. A centimeter is not very big. We drew one up here, and I decided to, we couldn't do the entire solar system on that scale. You wouldn't be able to see any of the objects, and so instead I decided to put the sun as one centimeter, and you'll notice that's about the same size as my pinky finger. So if you have your pinky finger, that's your sun, and from there we can decide how far everything else is away. I left these all in metric since we're asking about centimeters. Mercury is about 0.42 meters away. Venus is almost a meter, not quite, 0.8. Earth is a little more than a meter away. Mars is a meter and a half. Jupiter 5.5, and then we start really getting far away from the sun. Again, the sun's just your little pinky finger, but Saturn's 10.25 meters away. Uranus is about 20. And you start really getting far away at this point. Neptune's 32 meters away. You're really pretty far from the sun. Pluto's not a planet anymore, but I left it on this just so you know where it's at. It's 42 and a half meters away. It's really far out there from the sun now, and you're just your little tiny, small sun. All these other objects are just little specks. You can't even see them, but they're really, really far away. Just for reference, I put the closest star on here too. Proxima Centauri is your closest star. And again, your sun's a centimeter, very, very small. Proxima Centauri would be almost 300 kilometers away. This would be enormously far away, even though your sun's just a little small, small object. What's important to take from this is that even though the objects are small, the distances get to be very, very large. The distance is much larger than the object itself. So here we've modeled the solar system on a centimeter scale. My name's Eric Loberg with the Taylor Planetarium at the Museum of the Rockies.